We already had a lesson about writing your own middleware in Django and I have this uh, middleware that was left from the previous lesson. So here we would just take the request and add a current time to the request and also print hello. And for example, if we uh, open the URL list, which is associated with this function, we can see that we have printed hello and we also can get this current time from the request now. So that was the example from the previous lesson and I wanted to show you some other things about middleware and one important thing is that middleware has different hooks apart from a simple middleware here and I would like to show you how to work with them. One of the hook is called process view so you need to define this function process view and then you can uh, do something here like print something and also you can uh, change the view function and you can for example uh, return something else some http response with hello and i need to import that here and when you define this uh, new hook you need to actually define it in middleware you say middleware process view equals process view and now for example when you uh, work with any view when you open the page which returns the view your middleware will use this function and it will return HTTP response hello instead of this HTTP response. And you can see we received hello here. That are, there are other hooks that you can define. For example, hook name process exception. And again, you can uh, so this, this hook will be executed when we have some exception in our view. And we can also return HTTP response with there was an error string here. And again, we are saying middleware process exception equals process exception. So if we don't have any problems, we will just get simple output. But if we have some exception in this uh, view function, for example, let's print something that does not exist in order to receive an exception. And here we can see that uh, we received so usually for example if we don't have that in our middleware we would receive this default exception but if we define the custom exception in the middleware we will receive this instead uh, there is one more hook that i wanted to show you but unfortunately for some reason it doesn't work right now in my system and i couldn't really understand why so for example if we have a if we work with the template and we return template response in our middleware we can actually define this hook process template response and for example just uh, return this uh, request uh, the rendering this uh, template with this form and 
I don't know, it should work, but for some reason I get the error. And also, of course, we need to define it here. And I get some, uh, okay, render, of course. Let's import it from here. And I have here some weird problem and I don't really know why it happens, but I just wanted to show you that there is this hook and maybe you will even find a way to actually make it work, but I didn't. So I wanted to show you two more things. And first thing is that as a response here, we might want to sometimes change the content of the response. But sometimes we might have uh, not just HTTP response, but streaming HTTP response. And in this case, we will not have content here, but we would have streaming content. So you need to remember that and you need to if, if you want to change the content of the response, you need to actually check if there is streaming, then you change streaming content. And if it's not streaming, you can just change simple content. So I just wanted to show you uh, that. So you just uh, know that you need to remember about that because sometimes uh, the response will not have content, but will have streaming content and you should take this into account. And also one more thing that I wanted to show you is that your middleware can work with asynchronous function, uh, asynchronous uh, views too. And we use decorators to define if this middleware is only sync middleware or only async middleware or both. So by default, it's sync only middleware. You can also define, define this as a async only middleware, and you can also define it as sync and async middleware. So both of these functions, async and sync functions will be working here. So this is everything that I wanted to tell you about middleware and I hope now you know more about middleware than you knew before.